What's going on everyone? My name is Suboptimal and I'm just a typical Indian guy making videos about web development and productivity. So one very interesting thing about making this Twitter clone was that I finally decided to take on the elephant in the room and that was dark mode. So I've never made an app with dark mode before and it was kind of scared to do so. But I decided to take the plunge and as it turns out, it's actually pretty easy. So in this video, I'll go over how dark mode works in Tailwind CSS and how you can add a dark mode toggle just like this inside of your own applications. Learning how to set up dark mode is essential for web development these days. And I hope you guys find this tutorial enlightening. Get it? Enlightening. And before we get started, I'm gonna ask for one small favor from you guys, and that is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing for more suboptimal content just like this. Cool, let's jump right in. Setting up Tailwind with dark mode is super simple. So let's see how to configure it if we want to have the user toggle between light and dark mode. Usually inside of the Tailwind config, you're gonna have dark mode and it's gonna be set to false. But if you want the user to toggle, whether it's light or dark, we wanna set the dark mode to class, right? There is another functionality over here with the media, but we don't really care about that for the purpose of this tutorial. So once you set it to class, right? You can go into your app.view file and you can add dark into your parent div. So basically this is the parent div and this div contains the nav bar. It contains everything inside of this app. Inside of all of these divs, you can specify what to do when you're in dark mode, right? Right now we're in dark mode. So the background color is going to be TB, which stands for total black. So total black is TB. If we're in dark mode, the background of the entire app is gonna be in total black. Otherwise, it's gonna be in EELG, which stands for extra, extra light gray. If this parent div has the class dark, whenever Tailwind is reading through the HTML, so it's gonna look at these dark attributes and it's going to use those in our app. So if I save this, right? If I save this, yeah, we got dark mode. So that's how you get dark mode. But but what if you want light mode, right? How do you go to light mode? Well, you can remove that class and basically all of these dark attributes won't be added into your project. So instead of having a background of total black, you're gonna have a background of extra, extra light gray. And same thing goes for these classes. So instead of having, instead of dividing the sections with uh, extra, extra light gray, we're just gonna divide them with normal text colors. Instead of having extra light gray text, we're gonna have black text. So text black is the black text. So let's see. Cool, so now we have you know Twitter in white mode. So how do we actually toggle these things on and off? How do we allow the user to click a button, say, and then you know change the UI based on that? Let's take a look. So toggling these uh, buttons is gonna be dependent on the framework that you use. Now I'm gonna be using Vue, but doing this in React or Angular is gonna be ex almost exactly the same thing. The important thing is that you guys understand the concept behind how to do this so that you can clone it inside of you know whichever framework you're using. So let's take a look. Here's how I accomplish the toggle section, right? All I'm saying is I have an attribute inside of my Vue template. And this attribute is called is dark, right? And it's going to be set to true by default because, you know, we obviously want the user to look at the dark mode screen because that's way cooler than the light mode screen. But anyway, uh, we're going to have this attribute on our view template. And what we're going to say is if that attribute is true, then we're going to set this class to be dark. Otherwise, we're just going to set it to be an empty class or empty, yeah, empty class. And so, you know, this makes sense, right? So all we have to do, all we have to figure out now is how to toggle this section. And that's pretty straightforward, right? You just wanna have a button. And all that button's gonna do when you click it is it's gonna toggle between light and dark. So if the value is true, it's gonna be not true, which is false. And if the value is false, it's gonna be not false, which is true. And so this is the button that is gonna accomplish that for us. And so let me, kind of 
uh, hide this and just say, you know, button. Let me just add that as button so you guys can see what's going on here. And this is just a little bit of styling to in CSS, obviously, you know, you don't need to go too far into that. That's not, you know, the point of this uh, talk is just about, you know, toggling between dark and not dark. So we're going to have this button, this button, and it's going to be called dark mode button. In fact, let me remove this because it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, let me just remove that and show you guys that if we click this button, we should see that it's going to toggle between light mode and dark mode. Cool. So we click it. It's now light mode. We click it, it's now dark mode. And what's happening is when we click it, we're just changing this, right? Because we're using view, obviously, and this data is sort of bound to the view template and it changes, it's going to add or remove this dark class. And when we add it, it's going to start using the dark colors. And if we remove it, it's just going to not use the dark colors. And obviously the last thing to do is to just add a toggle, right? Like a toggle UI that just looks nice. And here all I'm doing is adding some font awesome icons. So if it is dark, right? If it's already dark, then that means that we've toggled it on, right? We've toggled it true. So I'm setting the icon to be toggle true. And if it's not already dark, then we're just going to set the icon to be toggle off. And so now you got a toggle button that is going to specify whether or not you're in dark mode. So let's see what we got going on here. So let me refresh the page. Cool. So it's toggled on in dark mode. And if I click it, then it's toggled off, toggled on and it's in dark mode, toggled off. Cool. That's how you do toggling with Tailwind CSS. Very straightforward. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two or three about dark mode and how to configure it for your own applications using Tailwind CSS. If you enjoyed the video, just hit that like button and yeah, consider subscribing for more suboptimal content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.